Hey yo, welcome back to Into the Breach, episode 3. Uh, I'm... This episode, first things first, I'm installing this uh, power reactor which we got at the end of the last episode from... I think it was saving the time pod. I'm thinking of upgrading this guy, giving him one extra movement, because my reasoning is these two units are ranged. They each have three units, all, all of my units have three um, movement. They can move three spaces, I meant to say. Um, health on this guy would be nice, but for now I think the one extra movement on this guy makes him a lot more mobile, because all his attacks are with the Titan Fist. They're, it requires adjacent. He has to be adjacent to the enemies, so I think this is... Oops, install. Probably for the best. And I can test the mech. And I have storage. Uh, but for now... I'm going to be running with this. Anyways. Uh, da -da -da -da. See, I'm looking... My power grid isn't looking great. Because I took two damage last turn. Killed some civilians. Destroy the dam and battle with less than four mech damage. Or defend the train. I like the idea of just defending the train. Yeah, let's give this one a go. I was overseeing maintenance on this old Earth locomotive myself. Good thing too, when the Vec struck, old Horus became the backbone of our supply lines. I'm guessing the train is called Horus. And the supply lines. Let's see. I hate these guys. Sion. Soldier Sion. My combat mech could kill him quite easily. Fireflies bug me because they have that ranged attack that travels in a straight line. And I don't like the fact that this guy can sling. It's a scorpion. That's annoying. Because normally they, I've noticed they tend to sling my melee unit, which is really frustrating. Uh, first things first though, I do want to kill the Scion. That is my priority, so I will put this guy... Scorpion can move three units, so that's one, two, three. I'll put this guy here. <laughs> so I can move one, two, three, and punch this guy to death. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boom. Um, this cannon unit, I'm okay with it. Get he can move one, two, three, or here. I'm okay with this guy being here. That's fine. And my artillery unit, I kind of want to shove off over to the corner or over here. So far, I feel like I'm... Un uh, no, move this guy over here. I feel like I'm un underutilizing my artillery mech. For the time being. I do need to improve. These are grand tiles. This is a supply train. Move forward two spaces, but we'll be destroyed if blocked. Oh crud, it's gonna be moving forwards, huh? How many it moves two units, you know, so that's one turn here, two turns here, three turns here, and then the fourth turn is when it moves off screen. Okay, we're protecting the train. We're protecting the supply train. I get, I've got it. I understand. Fire immunity cannot be set on fire. Smoke. It's unaffected by smoke and stable. Cannot be moved by any weapon effect. Teleport, huh? Okay, I'm ready. That's handy for my... What's that noise? Hundreds of people in those buildings make sure they stay standing. Uh, you are an actual jerk! I think my artillery unit can save the day. My reasoning is I can move the artillery unit over to here, shoot right there, and that just... That just, that just helps out a, a whole bunch. I think. Unless I can kill this guy in like... Do you reckon I could just punch him? <laughs> do you reckon I could just move this over to here, punch to, for two damage, and do one damage to this guy? And then follow it up with a... No, 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 I'm not liking that idea. And this guy... Oh, no, no. See, this guy's attacking, so if I push him back here, I'll have a new problem. They'll be attacking that grid. I need to think, and I didn't realize I didn't start my timer. I don't know how long this episode is, uh, but bear with me. 
It's probably like three minutes anyways. Mm. If I push these guys over to here... For now, I think, f forget about the scorpion, just move him out of the way. Is this ice? Turns into water when destroyed, must be hit twice. Okay. Okay, okay. So I have to move this guy over to here, move this guy over to here. Follow up with them. Um... I could probably kill him using my cannon mech after that. And use my punch, my combat mech to do damage to this guy and push it back a little bit further. I will have to tank one damage for my combat mech, unfortunately. I just need... Hold on, hold on. The train is moving forward, isn't it? One, two tiles. So how am I going to kill this guy? Oh, I'll just move it over towards here and then shoot. Downwards that way. Okay. Okay. Phew, 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 phew. You... Oh, wait, hold on. This guy will take damage from the forest fire, right? Meaning... I don't know how forest fires work yet. Oh, wait, in order to punch... Because what I'm think... Oh, I, I, I could probably kill this guy. I don't know how forest fires work. Oh, no, um... Once per battle, I didn't even realize that there was this reset turn ability. I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> um... You know what? Let's, let's test this. Um... Uh, hypothesis. When this guy dies, everybody loses their one bonus health. So, essentially, they all take one damage. I'm going to move this punchy man over to here and punch into that mountain. That's going to do three damage. And then this guy will just, you know, play around with the scorpion a little bit. <laughs> and what will happen is the next turn, the forest fire will kill this soldier scion. This guy will lose his one bonus health and die. This is my hypothesis, meaning that despite the fact that I'm not blocking its attack into the civilian building, it'll die anyways. At the start of every turn. What does that mean? Okay, look, I'm, I'm so nervous right now. Where's my phone? <laughs> Where's my phone? I'm going to Google this right, right this instant. Um... Um, what is- into the breach, into the breach, forest fire. <laughs> I- I didn't know how this works. Uh, fire is- fire is a mechanic in into the breach. Units that are on fire take one damage near the- near the start of their turn. Any unit standing on a fire or emerging from a tile set on fire will remain on fire until put out or dead. Units can be put out by standing in water, being frozen or repairing. It occur- fire damage occurs as part of the regular attack order, usually at first, before enemy attacks. It's not clear in which orders mech take damage. Okay. Civilian buildings are- Okay, okay, okay. I won't- What about soldiers- Um... Okay, let, let's- let's test out my hypothesis, shall we? Please. So move him into- move this guy here. And punch into there. You just have fun and I guess like... You just do some damage. And turn. Please die, please die, please die. Yes! Hypothesis has been proven. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm so glad that that worked. No, 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 no. You cannot be honestly trying to do that. Shoot. Okay, this is terrible. This guy, his turn is taken for him. He's just going to shoot the scorpion downwards out of the way. Hold on. What's my timer? <laughs> I, I need my timer to make sure everything's going first. But while I'm getting that up and listening to this awesome 
soundtrack by Ben Pronti. Units emerge after everyone else attacks, so I can't, for example, stand over to here, punch him down to there, and then have the unit emerge and kill this guy at the start of the turn. That's not going to work. <sighs> There's a forest fire here, which is really annoying. Because I'm thinking... See, I wish I could move this guy down to here. What I'm thinking is using my artillery to... Oh, I can stand on ice. Oh, yeah, I can stand on ice. Wow, amazing. I'm thinking of... Wait, this is a grounded unit, isn't it? Uh, my thoughts... I was thinking of pushing this guy using my artillery unit into this forest, so he just attacks the mountain, achieves nothing. This guy will move down to here and... Fire happens at the start of the turn. Okay. He's gonna- this unit is gonna move over to behind this unit to block, so it'll take one damage, but as opposed to taking one damage from the forest fire and one damage from the unit attacking. Move down to here, punch into the forest fire, it'll take damage at the start of its attacking turn, so it'll die before it can attack. Train is saved. When does the train move? <laughs> I don't know when the train moves relative to everything else. I'll block one unit, take one damage. This guy can just play around and just push him back again. It doesn't... yeah, whatever. So back to here. Punch. You're on fire, you will die this next turn. Um, you into the mountain. If I stand... yeah, if I just stand here, I think. This will do the job. You are behind the mountain, and you just... My hand is forced. And turn. Dead. Easy peasy. So, the train moves last. I see. And move forwards. Two turns to victory. Yeah, ow, that hurt. Just a bit- Oh, scorpions! No, no, no. Damn webs. I thought it said damn weebs for a second. Wait, so the train is going to move irrespective of... Oh no, scorpions attack first, the attacking order. Okay. Um... Am I blocking an enemy right now? Over here? And let's see, I don't know what order these enemies attack in. Because I, I had the idea of... Potentially damaging this unit once and then having this unit pushed up to here follow up by killing it But that wouldn't really work if this unit attacks first anyways If I just punch him into here that'll kill him I can kill this guy easily I'm gonna have to take one more grid damage really? This combat mech, I think it's blocking a unit again. I can't, I can't quite see. So his turn is four, so he'll just punch into there. This guy is dead. This guy will be. If I just, yeah, I guess if I just use this mech to just push him over one unit over to the right. The firefly. Okay, this turn plays itself, I guess. You'll be on fire, and you will die. Um, I need to push him up, right? So I should, like, move over to here, I guess. And the train is immune to... Less than happy about losing that one grid power. Oh, I'm not blocking... I'm not def I'm not blocking... A unit anymore. Ah, damn it, I was hoping... Oh, easy. I thought I had two more turns. Oops. Okay. All Horus made it to its destination without a scratch on him. With most of our past under the sea is a great day. We can protect our history from the Vec. Okay, see, at this point, I desperately need tidal waves. What? I desperately need the power. 
Um, so how can I, um... Purchase supplies. Oh, once an island, as in a whole island is secure. Okay, okay. So that was a fairly quick mission. I'm glad I chose that one. Air support. From f it, it, my air support or its air, air support? I'm thinking of doing Archivist's Hall because I, while I realize it only gives one power and this one gives one power and a star, some reputation, uh, I, I believe the game said that... Sorry, I trying to think. The game said that the more rewards, the greater the difficulty. So I'm thinking, get the one power first as a buffer, because God forbid if I take three damage on one of these two missions, I'll lose, I suppose, if I had that spare one for a buffer. So, Archivist Hall is next. Defensive Shield's active. Protect the coal plant. I can do that. And air support. Is that a warning, or is that like... We recently got a few old earth jets in the air. Nice! My people aren't the most skilled pilots yet, but they... They're getting the hang of it. Let me check to make sure. Yeah, the episode is recording. <laughs> hmm. I take it that up there is a coal power plant. Let's give this a go. This is a shield. It will block damage and any negative effects. Fire, freezing acid. Only direct damage will remove the shield. Non-damaging non negative effects will have no effects. Easy peasy. Could we have a scorpion that can move three units? So one, two, three. Oh, so you can... Okay, so that scorpion means any one of these four tiles are a no-go. As usual, first things first, I do want to kill that soldier scion. Um, your range, you can probably, like, sit down here. Do I want him here? I think I want him here. Mm-hmm. And you'll be here. Confirm. Let's hope for the best. Stop grinding the window. Cut off the escape routes, then we'll wipe them out one by one. I'm not sure I follow. Airstrike. Bombs will be dropped here, instantly killing any unit. Holy crap, really? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you think... You're dumb. I can just, like... Boop. <laughs> Anyways. One, two... Ah, oh, he's in the way. If only he got killed first. I can push him out of the way quite easily. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move... Move up a little closer. Pop this guy off. Easy. Guess water and vec don't mix. Second. Move this guy up to here. Push this. See, that will kill me instantly, though. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. I can push the scorpion up there, and then my uh, combat mech can follow up. So that is what I'll do. <gasps> no, 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 no. I can't do that because of... Dang it. That is disappointing. I should have thought this through a little bit better. Not all is lost. I can still punch this guy and do one damage. E essentially two, oh, just the one damage. Even though it was going to get killed by an airstrike anyways. Encore, thank you. Yeah, just just do that. Thank you for these power grids. Oh, this is such an, this is a much easier mission compared to the last one. Ha, <laughs> he missed. Okay, these are two ground type units. You are an idiot. You are just getting drowned. Okay, there's lots of ground type units in this mission, which is just fine. Fine and dandy. Um, what I can do is I can push this guy, well, you know, my hand is forced, into the water. This guy will take two damage and get pushed over to here. I'm thinking of using my artillery to push this guy. Yeah, push this guy down into the uh, danger zone. No matter, my hand is for... Wait, when did the airstrikes happen? Airstrikes happened at the end, right? The airstrike occurred at the end of the enemy turn. Shame, shame. Because I was thinking, if it goes first, then this guy is dead. Oh, I, still, I can't really do anything anyways. You'll be dead. Because I, I wish I could, like... 
You know, I could move this here, take the one damage, but the artillery, it has so little health to begin with. Look, I, okay, I don't need to block any units, I argue, because, um, because I'm, they're all dying so quickly. Yeah, each wave is dying very quickly. I guess this is a nice easy mission, nice written relaxed. It happens at the start of the turn. God dang it, I could have been more efficient about that. No. They... He's dead. And the flyer has been smart. Look, if it happens at the start of the turn, this guy's dead. This guy's attacking across there. I have two turns, so I can actually take one. Huh, I don't, I don't really need to do all that much, truth be told. Mm, this guy's dead, but I would like to... If I run this guy over here and punch very hard, <laughs> I'll kill this guy. And then I can push this guy over. This guy will tank one damage, but it will block the next Vec. I think I will do that. Yep, and then punch. Dead. Level up. I don't entirely know what that means in the context of this game. This guy, his turn is... Just shoot him. He's dead at the start of the next turn anyways. Um, and you can just... I'll still have him tank one damage. I'll have my cannon tank one damage. At the very least, however, it'll block. I'd, I'd get cleaner. Yeah, sorry. Uh, at the very least, it'll block two things spawning. Oh dear. Oh, victory in one turn. So I don't really need to do anything, huh? Yeah, easy. Uh, I guess I'll just... Kill it. And move this guy out of the way. Hold on, let me make sure... Yeah, done. A nice, straightforward, easy mission to end the episode. Quick and easy. Clean sweep, good job, Riftwalkers. Good job, Riftwalkers, sorry. Hey! And I get one... Oh, that's nice. With this region secured, we can open our technology vaults. Let's see what other old Earth tech we can use against the Vec. Promoted, no idea what that means. <laughs> Plus three, grid defense. Sick! Yeah, I noticed there was 18 defense instead of 15. And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just for this mission. But no, it's... Sick. Understood. Um... <gasps> You're joking! Warning, Hive Leader. Drawn out by your offensive against the Vec, the Hive Leader is assaulting the corporate HQ. Oh, you mean the pink thing. Anyway, that's really cool. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing, I guess, the boss battle for this island and securing the island if all goes well. So, hey, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. A lot more Into the Breach coming in the future. But until then, see you later. Bye.